and welcome to episode three of our van build. If you are new around here, we have been living in our bus now for the past eight months full time, but we decided to show you how we converted this from an X mini bus into our home it is now. If you've missed any of the previous episodes, we will link them below. If you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments below. We will do our best to get back to you and we would love to help answer all of your questions. And hopefully be able to inspire you guys to be able to build your very own camper van too. We are all beginners around here, so bear with us and let's get into this week's video. Yes, guys! Why am I putting my seatbelt on? I'm not putting my seatbelt on, I'm literally just pulling the bus forward for us to be able to work here in the unit. Just pulling it forward. Looks like we've got a dry day today. And there we do. Bathroom. Coming together slowly. So what's happened this morning, babe? So we've totally decided to redesign it all. Originally, we were going to have the toilet this way, pull the cassette out through the back of the van, but we just thought that's going to take up way too much garage space. We're not going to actually be able to um, like use any of the space in front of it. So I was reluctant to do it first, but I did it on our last van. So I know I can do it. And we're going to cut the um, actual side of the van out so we can have a poly out draw for that. Um, it just yeah. means that we'll have less room for the ba the bathroom. As much as we love to have a bathroom shower in the van, we just want it to have as small as possible space, don't yeah, we? Yeah, because we originally, we were going to have the bathroom coming out to about here. Mm. So it would have been a nice big bathroom, but really we don't need anything more than this. It's just going to be a quick wash down in the morning once we've been for a run or been to the gym or whatever, and then literally that's it. That's all we're going to use it for. So yeah. change of plan. Always. Typical Chris and Sam. <laughs> this bathroom has been the pain of our life. It has actually been the pain of our life, and it? it's been it's something we've thought about so much. Once we just, we've decided, we just wanted to get it right. So, yeah, now we know what we're doing, where we're going with it. We're happy. So guys, we have come to the conclusion that nothing is square in a van. So trying to get a measurement for the bathroom, coming off certain walls, coming off different places. Do you know what? I think you just got to go with your eye. That is the best way to do it. Sam, it once sometimes says like, yeah, that's square. I'm not convinced. And then other time Sam said it's not and I am. So yeah, you just got to agree to disagree. But um, yeah, it's starting to take a bit of shape now. This is our bathroom. Yeah. Doorway's gonna be here. In we go. Toilet. Do your business. Shower. I think we got enough room. We just wanted to keep it nice and um, small, as we said, not too, not too much. What are you on, babe? Just sanding down my nice bit of wood. Ready to primer it. Get it painted. I've done that side. So I'm just getting rid of all these nodules. We absolutely love the colour of the ceiling to the um, on the white. Well, I do anyway. I absolutely love it. In natural daylight, it looks absolutely incredible. Is that how you feel like today went? Do you think it went well? I think it went well too. Are you ready to go home? Okie dokie, let's go! Morning guys, so today it is the huge task of boarding out the shell of the bathroom. Um, I'm just going to use some cardboard, get a rough template and then um, take the ply in onto the bench and cut it all out with the jigsaw.
Yes, guys, so we have got the board up. The board is now up. Sam is painting it. It's looking awesome. It is coming together, isn't it? You've done a really good job, babes. All on my own, I did it. So this is going to be our little pantry, we're thinking. Yep. A tiny little pantry to pull out. So we're going to do some really good storage on it. Yeah, just have a lot of our food, maybe like um, our electrics and things like that. I might run a cable in there, so then if you have power in there, that'd be a good idea. Power in there? I thought you could have power in there. I just thought that's a good idea, isn't it? What for? If you've got the electrics in there, so they're charging. That's a good idea, isn't it? Yeah, that's something we could talk about. Discussion to be had. She's in there. So now I'm going on to building the bed or the bit of board that's going to go across there in front of the bed, probably come up to about 8.50 high, I think. Quick update on what we have done so far. We have just put the side onto um, the shower here. Um, we have made the big board that's going to separate the garage from the living space and all that. We've just tried the mattress because after the other night we cut the mattress up. I cut one end off. Uh, it was still too long so I decided to cut the other end off. Um, it's trapped in between the wood that's um, guarding the windows anyway so it's actually not going to go anywhere, any of the springs or anything so I'm buzzing with that. Fletcher is absolutely loving it. And now I am currently um, just doing the cut off of this side of the shower. Trust the old drawing on a bit of ply, you know, you gotta use what you got. There are some really really great advantages of having a dog like he when he greets me getting home it's just the best feeling ever there is nothing better he's amazing company for sam but when you're trying to lay a laminate floor and all he wants to do is sit next to you <laughs> it makes everything so much harder such hard work I know he's adorable, I know he's adorable, but I just want to get on and he's just like in my face. As soon as I'm here, stay in my face, I'm right there. <laughs> just trying to get stuff done. Just over halfway now on the floor. Uh, I've done the trickiest bit, which is up around the um, bathroom and all that. Um, so yeah, it's coming on nicely. It's actually going together really well. Um, I don't know if anyone else has used laminate flooring, but yeah, it's actually really decent, clicking together really nice. And um, yeah, the pattern's looking all right. So, just gonna finish up here. The rest is gonna be under the kitchen, so it's not gonna be um, super critical, but you always want it looking nice, don't you? And then I've got the really difficult bit of um, trying to sort out around down around the step. So I'd really like to get the um, cladding down around the step. Looking nice and neat, probably put some nice stainless trim on and all that, but yeah, that's the latest. shining we have a feeling it could be the last dry weekend of the year <laughs> it because, is the UK because it is the UK and it is almost November so we've got to be realistic it's a gorgeous crisp sunny day today so we are gonna go out and smash a whole day on the bus are you excited babe I am super buzzing we made some really good progress yesterday with the step and everything so yeah, today is going to be an exciting day, moving on to something else, so onwards and upwards. Let's go! By the way, I feel a little bit tender. We went <laughs> to a charity ball last night. Might have had a few too many gins, but lots of coffee. We'll be there, we'll be fine. And we are missing part of 
the tribe. The trio or the tribe? Same thing. We should be the travel trio. The travel trio. No, sorry, Fletch. We've just got personalised number plates <laughs> and everything. <laughs> the travel duo. So we're staying the travel duo plus one, okay? Yeah. But yeah, we're missing part of the team, so we're gonna go and pick him up first. Um, he stayed over at my mum's last night for us to go to that ball. So yeah. He's going to be very excited when we pick him up and then on to the project. Good morning. Hi. Oh, hi you. Hello you. She's here. Hey team. I got the Team goodies. with the goodies. Hi. This is our prep before we go and work on the Hangover bus. Hangover juice. Hangover juice. Coffee. Let's go. Honestly, this weather today, I wish I knew what the temperature was because it is bloody beautiful. I could honestly have some shorts on. It is gorgeous. So I am loving this. I'm going to show you what Fletch is doing. He's been sunning himself. The sun's just gone in for a second. Look at him. Absolutely loving life. So, I have just been doing this part of our windowsill, popping up the boards. I've just filled my little screw marks so that I can primer and paint all of that. And now I am just gonna paint this one white. It's got some primer on already. So I'm just going to paint that one white now. And then um, probably at some point this week, we're gonna build some overhead storage here above our bed. Um, and then Chris is just currently in the middle of making our overhead storage. So yeah, productive, productive day. Just about to get my paint on, whilst Fletcher just keeps an eye out. worker putting the graft in. I am loving this. I mean, I've been waiting for all the painting, making it look pretty. Another day, another saw cut. It's all we seem to ever do every weekend. Love it. Build the bus. What happened? What, what happened? So anyway, before I just got into the bus and whacked my head, I don't have to remember to duck a lot. Progress report so far. Cabinets are up. Top cabinets are up. No handles on just yet, but it is looking good. Kitchen space, still there, still empty kitchen space. I am dressed up to the nines today to keep warm. Oh. I'm starting to match the bus, yo. What else got going on? We need to put the handles on now on the cabinets and then we're gonna build one of these over there. Hey guys, so we are out here on a Wednesday evening working on the bus and it is tradition for us to have a barbecue. Literally, it's dark outside. It is black outside, but- Don't forget the waffles. Oh, burgers and waffles, beyond burgers. They are just absolutely the best. We love them. These so we've got that. Boys. They are the best vegan burgers. 
in the world. Covered up with our head. Is that comfortable? No, it's fine. Painting the inside of the cover for me. Good job. Thanks, ma'am. Guys, that is it for this week's video. You have seen the van starting to take some real shape now. We have the walls up for the bathroom, the overhead covers are done, and the flooring is down. It's starting to look way more of a house now. Oh god, it? yeah, better than just an empty van. And when we actually filmed this part of the build, it was around October time in 2021, and this is when we made a massive decision, yeah, wasn't it? That was it, yeah. This is when we decided that it was no longer gonna be our next camper just to enjoy van life part time. This is when we decided that we were going to be living in this bus full time. Full time. Wow. And not only that, giving up our careers of 10 yeah. years, it was a big, big move. So we're very excited for next week's video yeah. because we're going to unfold a little bit of this story, what it was like for us to leave our careers, pack up our house. What it was we did, like literally our story, innit? Yeah, absolutely. Like from where we've come in the last six to eight months, it's incredible, isn't I it? I know, unbelievable. And just to, yeah, start having this journey of going into full-time van life. We're going to share it all with you. And not only that, we moved into this bus when it was half finished. We had like no running water, <laughs> did we? We didn't have like proper electric. We were still running off like a workshop. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, there wasn't, uh, it was a crazy time to move in. It was like, oh, it was like November, oh no, it was January. It was January. January we moved in, so it was super cold as well. It was. So join us with next week's video where it won't just be the van build, it will be the van build plus moving in, giving up our jobs, a big, big episode. So be sure to stick around. Yeah. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you love it. And we will see you next time. See ya!